fellas, I got a question for you before we really get into this okay. last episode of the year. Episode 103, if you're keeping count at home. Um, do you guys give your... I feel like I asked this before a year ago. Do you guys give your wife or girlfriend um, a Christmas list? Like, do you send put a bunch of links in a note on your iPhone and then just send her and then share it with her? Or do you not care? Do you say, hey, surprise me? Like, what's, what's your order of operation here for Christmas? Because you know you're going to get something whether you want something or not. Well, what's the process here? Uh, we don't really, we don't, we haven't done presents in a, in a long, let me not say we haven't done presents. We haven't done the traditional, like wake up on Christmas day and yeah. open up presents, like leading up to it. We're probably like, oh, Hey, I got you. Like I need a new AirPods and my wife got me new AirPods. Yeah. Um, cause the old ones I had were, I don't know what was going on with them, but she just randomly gave them to me <laughs> before Christmas. So we haven't, we've been doing that kind of situation. There hasn't been anything like wake up, whatever. Um, when we did spend uh Christmas with our with my sister and her family, mm-hmm. we did Secret Santa. So okay, that was that's the only fun. time. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that was the only thing that we would did. But she set it up where you couldn't pick your spouse yeah, yeah. from the thing. But other than that, yeah, we just do the random like week out or two. We're like, here, here, here. Yeah. Oh, I got this for you. Thank you. Oh, okay. So it's kind that of scattered. Kind of thing. Yeah. Just call it Hanukkah. Yeah, okay. pretty much. <laughs> or Kwanzaa, wherever you want to call it. Sprite? I kind of do like, I'll just like tell her, you know, I don't care what I get. But then I'll just sit and just drop little hints. Like, oh, yes. man, this, this uh, backpack. I wish I had a new Toomey backpack. Man, but look at the hat Mickey's <laughs> wearing. Yeah, 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 I wish I had Upside that. But, down, oh, well, I guess maybe next year. <laughs> now now <laughs> you can go home now and be like, man, I was at Mag Park the other night. Yeah. You know, yeah, I, saw these I saw this. I saw mm-hmm. that. Man, I wish I had. Oh, wow, I keep getting served this ad. <laughs> this one ad keep popping up. It's like they know me, I guess. I don't know. Clearly, I want it, but I'm not going to bite. Yeah. Mickey? Um, I, you said, the, what's the process? Trust the process. <laughs> <laughs> and you can it. always return it, right? No. I, I, <laughs> no it, just go with you it. You know, I, it's one of those uh, relationships that I'm in right now that it's just like above and beyond. Like, I'm just... Yeah. I'm grateful. She's she's great. So yeah. you know, trust the process. That's what's up. Yeah, we we um basically what I said earlier. Sam put her stuff in a in a note. Send me links. Easy. Um, you know, take the links, purchase whatever, and um, and that's what I did to her like a year or two ago. So she thought I was talking shit to her. She's like, "That's what you did to me." I was like, "No, that's fine. I have no problem with that. That helps me. I'm cool with that." This yeah. let's kind of take the the uh, the I guess. Lack for a better word, the fun out of it. Well, like, well, here's send me a link and it's yeah, like, no, here's a grocery you're, list. You're, go buy no, shit. Yeah, you're it's right, true. but and one of those, a couple of those things on my link is groceries, but um, <laughs> <laughs> bulletproof coffee pods. <laughs> um, no, but there's a thing. If I know you're gonna get me something, like there's no way around it. If if I don't tell you, you're gonna go out and buy me something silly, and and something I just I'm gonna laugh at in the moment, and I'm probably not gonna use again, or I'm gonna use. Like if it's a shirt, I'm going to use it around the house. It's probably not something I'm going to wear out, you know, then, you know, you wear it around the house. It's not, it's going to get used over and over and then it's going to, you know, be all used up. So if you're going to, if we're going to get each other something like here, at least here's some direction. Here's something right. to go by. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, once again, episode 103, we yeah, got man. our guy DJ Sprite in the house, our third year in a row. I, yes, yeah. it's like my, my, my most faithful it's resident. resident. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a tradition now. <laughs> are, are you ever, in, within the maybe right after Thanksgiving, do you start to get concerned if you don't hear from us? Do you think, oh man, I don't know if they're going to have me this. I don't know if there's like a budget cut or something. Like, you probably forget all know. about it. Oh yeah, I remember you guys. Yeah, I'll pull up. <laughs> when I get the DJ City like yearly analytics, literally the same day, <laughs> right. like, oh, Joe yeah. will hit me up like, hey, you want to come back? Like, Which was course. yesterday. That, yeah, that, yeah, that, much. yeah that, that actually worked out. The timing of that worked out really well. I forgot we do the analytics, and it came in as we were talking. I was like, yeah. oh, yeah, perfect. We'll look go over it. Let me take a look. But um, Sprite, tell us uh, about your your um, I don't know your recent weekend. Some shows that stood out. Um, I mean, uh, stuff has picked up quite a bit, and it's not quite to 2019 levels at the moment. Yeah, mm-hmm. but um, I just did a I did a show. Spot you play as well, or if you still have yeah. Saturday. Yep. Before that, I was in San Jose, the spot called Myth, uh, in Park City, the spot called Downstairs. All great gigs, all a little bit different. Um, but yeah, I don't know. What San Jose, because when people think of going out in the Bay, they think of the Bay, but San Jose kind of has its own little niche of clubs yeah. slash bars. It's slept on. It's yeah. definitely slept like, on. Like, 
like is it is it more hip hop venues or is it like a mix of everything or more house? Like what's the vibe like? See, I was surprised. I thought most of my gigs lately have been a, a pretty decent mix of like everything pop, house, hip hop. Yeah. But in San Jose when I did Myth, it actually felt more almost like a Hollywood venue. Wow. Which I wish I would have hit you guys up first. Because yeah. <laughs> you know? it was it was very much that vibe. It was all bottle service. I mean, I was playing and the DJ booth had bottle service literally on the right and left of me yeah. on the booth. Oh, shit. So it was oh, just shoot. A booth full of people, bottle popping, pretty much all hip hop. But yeah. it was a great vibe. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Nice. Very cool. And, and your Made Monsters shows, what are those like compared to your solo shows? Oh, those are different. Those are a blast. That's just like, <laughs> I've seen like another animal come out of you in some of these highlight reels of you and Made Monster. Like you're on the floor, you're jumping, like you're going crazy with as the mask on. As soon as we put the mask on, it's like different Stevie Oki energy. Yeah. Like nice. I'm climbing rafters and backflipping <laughs> and all types of stuff. No, it's, it's a fun show. Uh, if you haven't seen us play, we kind of... We we incorporate like all this almost like meme culture and all these different things like that we find on TikTok and it's just yeah. a really fun show and we do a lot of like stage performance and acting with it but the, it's yeah. a very different vibe but it's 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 a lot of fun. No, yeah, no, no, very yeah, alter cool. Alter ego vibes. How many shows yeah. have you guys had? Uh, like since I mean I We're guess probably during twenty twenty one, like five or six this year. It's nice. again, it's not you know it's, uh, it's what so it used working. to be. Got you. But we got in with like all the anime conventions and stuff nice. like that. Um, we do. I mean, Halloween is like our New Year's. Oh shit! So we just did Vegas and that was. Bonkers. Nice, so. nice, nice. Um, made Monster aside, what are you finding yourself playing more? Like, what do you find yourself doing more with, like, Aria Vista? Um, I mean, the 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 hip-hop spot, obviously, you play more hip-hop. But when you go out, when you travel, is, is it a lot of bootlegs? Is it originals? Um, like, what are you dabbing in? No, it's, it's, it's majority hip-hop, a lot of originals. I know we talked about it. I've definitely <clears throat> fallen back more on playing a lot more original music but a good mix of stuff it's still majority hip hop yeah. but I've definitely been pushing house a lot more and I've been noticing a better reaction because mm. it was a time you know when house was kind of yep. in, in the club like uh, you know I want to stay away from that but no I'm, I'm probably doing about 30% up tempo music maybe 10% Latin yeah. uh, the rest hip hop but a lot of throwbacks yeah. and all originals yeah. so a couple remixes but not many yeah no so. no right on uh, Rel how was your weekend or last few weekends <laughs> Man, you know the usual stuff out here in LA, man. Um, just moving around. Uh, what did I come on? Sorry, guys, I smoke a lot of weed, so I forget shit. Reserve. Uh, uh, oh, you did the spot with Night Train. Must be nice. Yes, must they be must nice, be nice. Yeah. The Peppermint Club. Um, at the Peppermint Club. <laughs> Peppermint Club is always an interesting venue. Um, but it was cool. It was a solid. It was a solid thing. It was a solid night. Uh, what did I do the night before that? Yeah, resident. I did. Um, I did some new spot like a like like a like nice little lounge in um in uh, West LA. Actually, right around the corner from Scratch. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, what was the name of it? It was it's like a Mexican. Uh, which I can't, excuse me, I, I forgot the name of it. No, 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 nothing like that. But it was it was it was like an upscale Mexican restaurant, basically. Mm, okay. You know what I mean? Or Mexican lounge, I should say more so. Um, but it was dope. Like I was it, I was meant to play background music, right? Mm. So it's like, all right, cool. You know what I mean? Like, do you, you know, so I'm thinking, I'm gonna play some nice groovy, you know, house tracks and stuff like that or whatever. And then I just, you know, it wasn't they weren't really like vibing in the point for us is just cause the the spot has a has a a, a solid happy hour, but they had a hard time keeping people there. Um mm. So they were like, maybe if we bring in live entertainment, mm -hmm. it, could, it could work out or whatever. So I was just like, yeah, fuck this shit. So go back into playing hip hop, classic shit, whatever, whatever. Yeah. Everyone, yo, yeah, yeah. oh my God. I was just like, yeah, see, that's just- You're coming just back next month. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah they go. Management loved me. <laughs> management loved me. They were like, oh my God, we had a couple of guys, you know, we had a couple of DJs come through and they were just like, yo, thank you so much or whatever. Um, yeah, so other than that, it's yeah, just kind of my, my usual stuff, you know, yeah. in and out. Mm -hmm. Right on. Uh, I was, uh, I was in, I did Heat in OC and I put on uh, my story that it was one of the funnest nights I've had in SoCal, probably all of California in so many years. The energy was incredible. Like it was a perfect mix of people on the floor who want to dance to anything and everything. And you had your bottle poppers who, you know, like they were patient with the house. I gave them their hip hop. Um, it was just like, it was just crazy how these kids on the floor and just whoever was there was just, they were just going crazy to everything, the sing-alongs. Um, you know, this ain't news to us, but 
like the way people react in LA to family ties is like, it's like you dropped an EDM track and they are jumping on every kick. They're oh jumping on one, two, three, every, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like yeah. they're jumping on every cent on every drum. And so it's, um, it's crazy to see how that track has just caught fire. I played it in Boston the week after. Like it was the last song of the night and the few people that knew it were going crazy. Yeah. Yeah. But like I don't know if it's there in they Boston. Still got, yet. They still got some catching up to do. It, either that or it's just more it might just be more of a regional thing because we love Baby Keem out here. We love Kendrick out here. You I know? Mean, yeah. And we maybe that maybe side. Kendrick is the reason why it got as far as Boston, you know? Yeah. But I don't know. I'm just speak that's I'm just speaking from one experience at the Grand. Um, well, I will say it worked well for me when I spun in New York last month. Okay. When I spun, when I hit, when I hit Family Ties, I I I was surprised as well. I was like, wow. oh shit, okay, and it went crazy. Okay. Um, and then I did the Grand, and it's probably my six. I think my sixth time is it just is just probably the best set I had. Like from like in regards to the crowd energy. I know um, my friend was telling me some of his friends were hesitant on buying bottles or even coming out because they were they thought because they know the grand to be house heavy, mm-hmm. and my friend had to like problems with no he's gonna play hip hop he's gonna give you you know all that stuff and and man it was like it was a combination of everything um, and and I if there was a couple of things that kind of inspired me to put together like a little dialogue to so so uh, to my set. So on uh, Monday, I put up a one minute re- reel of like s- reaction of six different songs. It was Titanium, Pop That, and like, I don't know, four other songs. Um, and they were all great reactions. Um, so then I killed the audio on that and I added dialogue to how my night went. And I did my best to put it all in one minute. <clears throat> Moving forward, I'm, I'll probably do it um, in two minutes. I'll probably make a two minute video. But I basically added dialogue to it saying, I start off with this song. This is why I start off with this song played 10 minutes of hip hop, moved up the house. And this is why I went from house to this. And it just, it was basically telling the viewer how I, why, how and why I got and went um, from A to B, B to C. Um, and it's just an explanation of it all. So I posted that um, yesterday on Tuesday. Well, right now it's Wednesday night. And the response, the last two days or the last 24 hours have just been crazy. Um with DJs like really appreciating that I was that I I put it all out there. Mm-hmm. Um, I think some of us are self conscious. Some of us are maybe a little afraid of just, and some of us maybe just don't want to give away our secrets, but of just saying, "Hey, this is what I did. This is how I did it." Um, and I think a lot of DJs want to know. I posted this video because I am because I want other DJs to do it. I'm, I'm hopefully this puts a spark in some in other DJs to. Walk me through your set. Why did you play this song at this time? What was the pivotal point in the night? What was the transition that changed everything? What was the song you were surprised that got the that got a crazy reaction? What didn't work? Like why'd you get out of that so quick? Like those are the type of videos. Those that's that's um, what I want to know coming out of a club if I go see you spin. But I'm not gonna ask you because I don't want to come off like like a reporter. And I you know yeah, I don't yeah. I don't want to come off like I'm all in your business. So I, I keep my mouth shut. I'm just all right, you know, cool set, you know, leave it at that. So hopefully, uh, and you know, DJ City reposted. I told Styles, Quickie, and Phenom. I got them all on email. I said, you guys need to do something with this. I'm I'm not gonna do this after every set. I'm gonna do it once in a while, um, especially when the club it's a big club. But this this is like the response I'm getting from this is crazy, and you need to figure it out. Um, and it doesn't have to be me. People want to know why Sprite is doing what he's doing, how he's doing. They want to know why Vi- how Vice is doing it. They want to know why all these big names, how they got into the room. See, I didn't have enough time to create, to tell even the backstory of why I started off with hip hop at the Grand. I told you guys about it three months ago, mm-hmm. why I started my set off and, and how it uh, went well for me. But but I want to know the backstory, you know? So I told them, and Styles agreed. He's like, "Yeah, this is really good content. And this can do be something. Let me figure it out, and I'll I'll let you know." So it's like, "Cool, you guys." And and hopefully other DJs do it. It'd be great. It'd just be great to hear what your ideas are. I went to see Four Color Zach at um, oh, Thanks Key. for the Invite at Lock and Key, mm-hmm. their one year anniversary. And like, I'm not showing up to get drunk with the bros. I'm not showing up to check out the girls. Like, I'm literally there to hear 
this guy do something I may not have thought of playing or do something that's going to get the juices flowing. Like that's why like we're, we're, we're all married and we're very committed. So we have no interest in going out for any other reason exactly. other than that dude's dope. Let me hear what he has to play. I'm going to grab something from his set. Um, Sprite, you and I were talking about how you can evolve it. I said, um, I threw out, I'm not scared to share my playlist. I thought about it. And Audio One made a joke saying, yo, next thing you know, they're going to want to see your playlist. It's like, you know what? I saw that, yeah. We all play the same songs. So, like, yeah. A-Track and you, you can try. Yeah, J-Track did exactly. it for a while. Yeah, a couple of times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For a while, yeah. Like, go ahead. No, I'm, oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm just talking a lot. So if you guys want to jump in, please. But, um, but yeah, so we all play the same songs. You can try and duplicate what Rel did in New York. Doesn't mean it's going to work for your set. Mm-hmm. Also, on top of that, um, you don't know where my mix points are unless I tell you. So because we all know you can let eight bars ride on a hook. And if you don't get out and you let that verse ride, it, it might it, it might be a long verse. And now <laughs> yeah. we're heading in the wrong direction, right? Yeah. So it's like you don't necessarily know where my mix points are unless I tell you. Um, in a sense, I feel like, yeah, you're probably giving away. Um, maybe you need to keep some things for yourself as an element of surprise. But um, also, um, some people may say you're giving away the secrets, but it's like, bro, there's there's no secrets. Like, if you're still, like, I play Father Stretch My Hands. That's an old song. Mm-hmm. But it gets a crazy reaction. It's I think it's something, when I go out and see DJs, I think a lot of them have gotten away from it, but it still works. Like, that's not necessarily a secret. If anything, I'm just rem- maybe reminding you, maybe bring it back yeah. and throw it in your set. Um, but yeah, go, tell, say what you were saying about evolving it. No, I, when I, I, I saw when you posted it up, I was like, this is a great idea. And that would be a, a great, almost like YouTube series or something where yeah. you would sit down with DJs after big shows, maybe have someone film it and kind of, like you said, go over what they did. I mean, just even at Oria Vista this past weekend, the way I play, like, uh, even it, it's different every week, but I still like, if I don't like something or if something's not working, I make like a bin while I'm playing of like. Maybe I should rethink this, or maybe I should re-edit it. And it's just, you know, and I can go over something like that. Well, like, this is why I played this. This is why I abandoned this. Yeah. But it would be, it, w- it would be great, like thought process and kind of like how, you know, how the night went because you, you don't know what we're thinking. And there's definitely points where I see stuff happening that I don't want to happen. Like, all right, well, I better switch it up. But yeah. you wouldn't know that unless I sat down and told you that. So yeah, that w- that might be a great series. Just sit down with people after like big events, maybe a different kind of venue, someone who does like a, a staple bar. DJ or someone who does like big rooms in Vegas or whatever, just kind of see their different processes yeah. throughout with each. I mean, I have no problem sharing the playlist or whatever. Like you yeah. said, most of the stuff I'm playing is original and a lot of it is just me flipping the same thing we're all playing just my way. Yeah. So it really doesn't matter if I gave the playlist out. Yeah. Um, someone asked, actually a few people asked me if I, if I, um, if I set a playlist and just stick to it throughout the whole set. And, and I told them. I don't know how you do that. <laughs> yeah, no. I told them the first 10 minutes, like to me, are crucial. You this is where you um this is where you develop confidence and trust within the crowd. They they have to know that what you're giving me in the first 10 minutes is gonna is they have to know that's gonna set the tone and I can trust you for the rest of the night. Yeah. Because you're probably gonna wanna drop something because if you don't have that trust and you drop something crazy. They're going to look at you crazy like, yo, this dude's been fucking up all night. Like that might be the straw, you know, yeah. the last straw. But if you grab their confidence early and you continue to guide them, you can drop something crazy in left field and they'll be like, he did it again. Like, yeah. Dope. <laughs> like, you know, oh, yeah. okay, I see what you know. Yeah. So it's like I told them, if anything, the first 10 minutes, they have to be flawless. So I'm I'm prepping that. And then after that, I'm, I'm feeling it out and going with the flow. But and that's another thing. Like you got to fill out your night. You can't just take a, a, a Sprite playlist and input it and think that everything's gonna yeah, no, work out. Wouldn't work. Yeah. Yeah. But um yeah, you guys got anything else to throw in on, on that? Yeah. I think it was yeah, I thought it was dope. I mean, like to your point, if they just added a little bit more production, like you said, I started I ended my last gig with this track, so I decided to start my next gig with this track. Oh yeah, I mentioned that. Yeah. yeah. And then showing actually showing the the visual the and the audio of how the crowd responded to you playing that song. I guess that was the genesis of it because at Elevate before Heat, I ended my last my last song was Family Ties. And then my first song at Heat was Family Ties. Yeah. 
which is like I don't. It's not a big deal, but it's like I don't. That I just think it's kind of cool when you can. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. To your your point of having a backstory and then seeing and seeing and hearing what the response is in the in the actual footage and the content um, would would be dope. But again, that that turns into a two, three, four minute video. And Something it, that you could put on YouTube, yeah, like Spider yeah, was saying. Yeah. yeah. And and that's what I told Styles. I said another way to evolve this is saying, I thought this would work. I thought pop that in this moment would work. So I dropped pop that and this was the reaction. You know, don't stop and people going crazy. Mm-hmm. And you know, or or maybe no one does anything. Yeah. You're like, this is where I know I fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> this is where it went wrong yeah. and I had to redirect. I had to go play Blink-182. I mean, or, I mean, or how many like, DJs do you think will be that vulnerable though to show that they fucked that's up? That's what I'm like, yeah. I'm... I mean, I'm on talk my shit, but look, a lot of guys I don't know, so I don't know where they stand, but I'm assuming a lot of them may be up and coming, loved that I put that on display. The OGs hated no it. One, no, I'm not saying they hated it. They just didn't have a response. So uh-huh. I don't know. I saw some of them had like, you know, liked it or, you know, whatever. Um, so it's not like they didn't see it. So I'm wondering. Like, and I'm not looking for a reaction out of them, mm. but I'll, it had me thinking, like, like let's dig a little deeper than you really need to, but let's have fun with this. M- maybe they feel like, oh, shit, I, people are going to ask me to do this, and I'm not sure if I'm ready to do this. Or maybe I don't like the way I sound fine, on the mic. You don't have to do it. No, they don't have to yeah. do it. But I felt like, like, dog, you are doing the biggest clubs in the country. Mm-hmm. Like, why wouldn't you want to share this experience with all these people that look up to you and on top of that not that some of these guys really need it bookers are here like bookers heard this shit and they reached out to me like yo like you're thinking like us like it's hard for us to tell the djs how to do it but when you're talking about you play 10 minutes of hip-hop and 10 minutes of house then you went latin to rotate the crowd you know get people to the, the bar for 10 minutes then bring them back like DJs aren't talking about that. And we don't even know if that's on their mind because they don't tell us. But because you're saying it in a video and you're saying, oh, I, po- I, I played bottle popping hip hop last 15 minutes just to see if any more bottles would come out. Like we want that because, you know, as as the bar makes money, it's yeah. a good look for you. Yeah. If the bottles are popping, it's a good look for you. I don't, I don't understand why the, the, maybe they just haven't thought about it, but the bigger names... Like this can only help them. Yeah. And again, maybe someone just don't know what the fuck they're doing. They, yeah. they, they, they. It's not help. <laughs> I disagree. I, I think. Let me land. I think. <laughs> I think someone will really don't know what they're doing. Landing for an hour. But they, <laughs> but they've been um, getting their bookings because their relationships and you know they play the hits and and every and people like them and yada yada. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, so maybe there's that too, and they really don't have a method to their madness. It's just, yeah, man, just go in there and play the hits. Maybe. I don't know. I think 80% of the big guys are just mid. They're not like great DJs. They don't care. Do you think they... I think I think a lot of people that get the best gigs don't get their gigs because of the music they play. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just the reality. We've, yeah. This is a broken record. Pun intended. Like, <laughs> this is part of our game. Like, yeah. on the record. The reason why you're getting gigs isn't because of... Like, what How percentage is it of because right. you're set? Yeah. Respectfully, right, right, right. right. Yeah, no, true. I agree. I agree. That's right. what I'm saying. Like the work happens not in the club. Like true. that's that's just point blank. Period. Yeah. This guy who hasn't DJ, who barely like, no, I can't say that because then I'm gonna get in trouble. But like, who puts in the least amount of efforts? Mm-hmm. I still get call get calls to gigs. I still have gotten gigs. Mm-hmm. Like I'm literally not looking for. It. Matter of fact, I'm hiding from it yeah. <laughs> most of the time. Shit. And <laughs> and and I'll still get Mickey a respectable rate of someone who's in in like I'm getting paid a lot more than guys that are DJing every week. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like, but it's not because of my set. Shit. That's what I'm saying. I need to like, I need the playlist. Maybe I don't know. I've I've done that. Obviously, we've talked yeah. about it too. But like, it's not there. That and the reason why a big guy isn't gonna do that. Some guys will. Don't get me wrong. It's it's within their character. Like you know, Vice is such a like nice guy he's down to break it down like Mm -hmm. that's someone who i'd expect it from someone else is like like they don't really need to explain themselves because at the same time like it's that's not that's not why they're great they're great because of the 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 things you can't teach 
and and they probably can't explain themselves. Like, bro, I just plug in and fucking uh, set off, set fire. I mean, it depends. Because you know, okay, like, yeah. you, guys, some guys, you know, and this is clearly not specific, but throughout the decade or shit, almost two decades probably of DJing, like, like coming up, like, I guys, I know guys that get rebooked because they got hammered and don't remember the night before. Like, yeah, yeah. I've gotten carried out of the club, and the next day it was a it was a compliment. It was a yeah, they're like they're like, man, we can't wait to have you back next month. Yeah. Like, Hopefully what? you'll survive. Yeah, yeah. Like, holy shit! Like, cool. I told a booker to fuck off to his face as I was getting carried out. I said, no, this is my set. <laughs> Who's the first person to compliment me the next day? <laughs> that, that guy, yeah. yo, bro. Oh you man, you're so funny. Yeah. <laughs> this shit ain't a game. <laughs> No, nah, but I hear what you're saying. But I think this is guys, a long time ago. Yeah, I think those guys like <laughs> I think those guys like Vice, who will who we are soon would be uh, down to do something like that. Will help out those DJs that are trying to get into those positions. You know what I'm saying? And it yeah. will help with troubleshooting too, if you think about it, right? Sure. If you come across some shit in your set, for example, my laptop overheated in New York. How did fuck did your laptop overheat? But you the music didn't cut out on you. Yeah. How did you get through something like that? Yeah, this is what I did. Blah blah blah, whatever. And you know what I'm saying. Explaining that. Imagine if you added drama to your story. If you broke yeah. it down and you had a drama, DJ's is gonna be like on the edge of the seat. Yeah. they like, pay for I, the like, whole yo, seat, but they're like only using the point. edge of it. Yeah, I told the booker to go fuck off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, this in a video, we saw fuck off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, yeah, I think I could say, I think I think it would be great content. I mean, it would be entertaining at least to the point where I'm like, that's what we hey, do on the pod. Yeah. You know I mean, we've talked about how done how, how the touch bar with the yeah. lights fucks your shit up, and if you yeah. turn off the settings, your shit gonna get fucked up if you're not messing with that new computer. If yeah. we've talked about whatever driver thing, like we talk about that stuff, so it's like, yeah, it, can it be? Can it be uh, shared it, in a much shorter form where it makes sense? It Absolutely, evolved. yeah, yeah. Only word of advice on your thing was you should just capture all your clips and put it in TikTok because your in shot watermark is annoying. Yeah, so you can just do all everything you did. You could do that in TikTok. TikTok, yeah, yeah, it, yeah. How long can I do it on TikTok? As most, I think three minutes. I think they're extending oh, to ten I only, minutes. I only now. need two. I only need two. Shit. That, uh, they're trying to compete with uh, I'm YouTube. TikTok, sure, man. sure. I don't stuff. know shit about TikTok. Bro, I'm on TikTok. I posted two videos, and I was like, ah, oh, <laughs> just gonna watch all these links that my girl sends me. <laughs> nice. Yeah. But anyway. But yeah. Uh, all right. Moving forward, uh, Mickey, how have your weekends been? You know, I'm just busy with the shop, man. I'm, I'm yeah. right now. We're dealing with a big hat release. Uh, Rel is flexing it. Uh, pretty heavily, people are. I've always uh, got Mickey's hat on. People are paying three to four, five hundred dollars <laughs> for that hat. Crazy. We're still uh, trying to get them distributed uh, across the country uh, because we're being really selective. Of, uh, it was like a raffle situation. Yeah, and we only had like twenty percent of the demand that was there. We had like over four thousand people sign up or three thousand people sign up for a raffle. And uh, yeah, it's been interesting. But other than that, I'm in LA, so I'm staying inside. Uh, oh man, my, yeah. my uh, good friend of mine was performing at time uh, a couple like last Friday, and he he hit me up. And if this guy personally hits you up to come hang out, it's like you should go hang out. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, something in my gut says like just. No, yeah. this isn't the time. Rolling Loud no week. Mm-hmm. Like Ooh, you. Yeah, no, 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 no. And, no, and the way no, I looked no, at no, it no, was no, 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 no. he's he's a big celebrity and he's he's going to be decked out in chains, but I've seen what's in his duffel bag. He nobody's getting to him. And I and obviously he's got a big guy next to him too. Not me. And <sighs> the way I looked at it was, here's the scenario. If I drive out to Orange County, Newport Beach, Jeez. we go to this area that you're in a parking lot. Yep. And you can't just get out of the parking lot. Yep. You can't just walk into your car. And it just feels like there's too many variables there, number one. Number two, if I'm seen walking next to this group of people with all the jewelry, with all the things going on, and then I'm the one that strays away at the end of the night by myself mm-hmm. to go to my car, mm-hmm. I'm a target. Yep. Uh, easy. No, target. LA is that and crazy right now. <laughs> and, and I say all of that to say that two days later, I see an Instagram post that two guys got got robbed of their watches and, at gunpoint in the parking lot that night. Mm. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. So I was like, I'm right here on my couch. Yeah. <laughs> I'm working. 
I'm, I'm working. I'll, I'll go on Instagram live every now and then because uh, that's been my way of being outside and, and talking to the people. But like, I am cool. We yeah. are good. Every night, there's at least two to three different things going on. Citizen app is lit up like the Christmas trees outside. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. You, you had someone here, right? No, nah, that was... No, 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 no. Well, I have someone... I have an armed guard here. That's what I meant. Oh, yeah. No, I yeah. have security here every yeah. night. Like, That's over, crazy. overnight. Yeah. My window anybody, got smashed in last week. Yeah, his window got smashed in last week. Where? I was DJing in Hollywood. Came out to my car, put my stuff in the trunk. And I'm looking. I look at my wife and I go, why the fuck is there glass all over the back? You know, because I drive a Jeep. I'm sorry. I look up, whole window smashed in. And I'm like, Thanks. nothing was stolen? Luckily, nothing was stolen. Thank God nothing was stolen. <laughs> um, yeah, luckily, uh, you know, I'm, I'm thankful for that, but it was just a pain in the ass because I had to go pay, fix yeah. that window. You know yeah. what I mean? But luck, I don't want to say luckily, but it wasn't like I was targeted. Someone was just vandalizing cars on the street because the car behind me also had their window smashed in as well. Just being an ass. So yeah. someone was just being an ass, just and I was just like, man. And I heard uh, a good friend of my wife's. That same street, maybe the day before me, a day or two before me, her car got broken into and they stole, rumbles through all her stuff and stole stuff out of the car. So yeah, LA is on, it's on a whole other thing right now, man. And to your point, I'm like, if I ain't, if I'm not working, I'm not going outside. No. <laughs> yeah. Mm-mm. Sorry, Night Train ain't going to make it to Sadiq. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make it to Sadiq one of these nights before the year's over, but... Until then, <laughs> I was in San Diego. San Diego felt Yeah, I was about to say, you was in yeah. El Chingo, right? Yeah, I DJed yeah. El Chingo. Yeah. Like, that was like two weekends ago, like after the pod. Yeah, it was. Oh, yeah. I was dealing with an injury. Uh, oh, yeah, we talked about it. Yeah. You, you were, Did I talk about you? Four hours Yeah, set, all right, right, cool, great, <laughs> like perfect. This. I don't want to go back up. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. I mean, that's a bad memory already. <laughs> yeah. But oh, I'm back man. there. Yeah. <laughs> Are you? Where? It's better this weekend. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah. Sunday? Saturday and Sunday. Oh, shit. Oh, um, New Year's Eve? Where are you going to be? Uh, the Intercontinental, Intercontinental in uh, San Diego. Dope, dope, Doing dope, like dope. Little, yeah, event there. Speaking of San Diego. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Dope. Um, all right, moving on. Um, so, um, DJ City sent out uh, a report of what was the most popular, what was the most downloaded, and much like last year, a lot of it is obvious, but um, Sprite, did anything stand out to you? Um, I think we were talking yesterday. We were kind of like, wasn't it like uh, a Lord of Dance? Was like yeah, the Strome Strom- Lord Dance Tall Boys. That was out, crazy out. to me because it was because Tall Boys just did a, like a re edit or something to it. Yeah, yeah. it was like the number it, one. It uh, was the number one download um, in uh, Latin, Latin America, right? In Latin countries. Latin countries. Okay. Yeah, but um, but yeah, so that was that was interesting. And then after that was Rihanna's "Don't Stop," uh, Jean Felipe Hook. Um, yeah, so uh, that was interesting. Um, I won't go through all of it. A lot of it's Drake and Cardi B. Yeah, but um, Mist yeah, yeah. in the United in the UK, Mist Roland was Not the number one. By that. Dave and Wizkid was number two uh, out there with System. Um, but yeah, these are all things that are kind of just interesting to us. And again, these are the most downloaded. Um, and in America, of course, it's just lit up with Cardi B. It's like mm-hmm. Cardi and Drake. Cardi, right? yeah. it's, it's Drake and Cardi and Sweetie's peppered in there. Mm-hmm. But oh. wasn't wasn't still, regardless of all that, wasn't Tyga the most That was surprising to me. Like yes. The most popular yes. artist. I was like, popular what? Artist. The most was... popular was still Tyga, even though when you look at all his charts, it's all Cardi and Drake, but still the most popular artist yep. was Tyga. Ty- so that list is Tyga, Sweetie, Drake, Bruno Mars, or uh, well, Silk Sonic, and Meg Thee Stallion. And then on the featured artist side, NLE, Chopper, Young Thug, Troy Boy, J Cole, and Drake. Mm. Are you guys playing? Are you guys playing a lot of Tiger in your set? Um, I no, like I know that new song. Like I think it'll work. I just haven't gotten around to playing it. I feel like with Tiger, he it, it makes like the ultimate, like just. Filler track. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> yeah. He is the perfect filler track. Yeah, it's, no, it's, it's, it's I mean, true. every single one of them. I can just pick one of them, and they all kind of do this, do the same thing. Like they don't, you don't lose the crowd. Yeah. Uh, no, it goes nuts, but it would just, it just passes time. Exactly, and they're happy with it. It gives you that, it gives yeah. you that, that space where you can go. Okay, these are the next ten, five or ten tracks that exactly. I want to get into. Let's get to it. Yeah, and that's that's perfect. What it is, I haven't played Tiger in my set. If I'm doing more than a two hour set, maybe I'll squeeze a yeah, Tiger yeah, track exactly. in it. But other than that, I haven't He's really. He's literally played. popping all over the world. Yeah, man, I yeah. thought yeah. it was just the L.A. or Cali thing, but no, it's no, literally yeah. all over. Number the world. one, in, number one in Canada, yep. uh, mm-hmm. 
number one in Germany, number one in Australia, number one in Japan. Yep. And then he's number two and three in, in the States and uh, United Kingdom. Or, yeah, three in United Kingdom. It's crazy. Yeah. And um, most popular regional in the U.S., um, shit, Sweetie's all over. Yeah. Sweetie yeah. got Sweet the... killing. Yeah. And, of course, in the Northeast is Drake. She should run for president based on this chart. Not yeah. sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Republican. Um, yeah, and then um, most popular is Drake, Drake. Pop Smoke. Oh wait, popular most search okay, most search terms in 2021. Drake, Pop Smoke, Peppas, Doja Cat, and Dua Lipa. You got the name of a song mixed in with a bunch of artists. The artists, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't know who made Peppas. it. Peppas. <laughs> they don't know who made it. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, and it's not even there to download. You know, you know why it's the most popular? <laughs> Once you search it, you gotta search it again. Yeah. Um yeah, so most search terms on DJ City um, the regional. Um, okay, so Canada's Drake, States Drake, Peppa's Latin, UK's Drake, Peppa's Germany, <laughs> BTS in Japan, and Pop Smoke in Australia. Hmm. All right. Um, and most search in the States is all Drake. So, mm-hmm. yeah, that's the, that's the DJ City report. Mm-hmm. So, excellent work by those guys, yep. as usual. And now let's get into our picks. The only picks that matter. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's jump into a best remixer. Uh, Rel, who you got? Uh, I didn't pick one, to believe it or not. It okay. wasn't. I'm I'm starting, you know, what Sprite was saying earlier. We're playing a lot of originals. Mm. I've been flirting with a little bit more remixes as of recently. Um, because, like you said, again, to his point, a lot of more percentage of your set is up-tempo, house music and stuff like that. But... Mm. It's still more originals, even when it's the house music yeah. stuff. Um, so I have, it was hard for me to pick a remixer because I was going to say Tiesto, but the tracks that were standing out for me with Tiesto, because obviously the Tiesto Peppers remix, mm-hmm. I think kind of like just took that, just a little edge for uh, Peppers, but um, was um, Money and Ola, but those are original tracks. Yeah, so yeah. I was like, they're not remixes. Yeah. So yeah. it was hard for me to pick one. So I didn't get to pick one. Out. Okay, right. So uh, same thing. I, In that sense for like clubs, I really didn't have anybody. But for my show, Stay Radio on Globalization, there is one guy that I, I play all the time. It's this guy, Giovi, uh, 2021, it, but he spells it with Roman numerals. But check him out. Really like funky, chill house stuff, um, but uses familiar vocals like mm, all the time. Gotcha. Really good. I probably play one of his tracks every single episode. Wow. So when I look back at it, I was like, there was definitely a trend. And I was like, he's got to be my remixer of yeah. the year. And it's all remixes. None of it was original. So Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm going to go with uh, Spider Tech. Um, he ended last mm. year, or he, all of last year, he was strong. And then he started off this year really strong, and I'm assuming he just got busy with traveling and then probably um, originals. But look, man, when he when I buy merch from a mixtape that he puts out, like because he did the Wu-Tang, um, the Gumbia, Wu-Tang Gumbia yeah. mashup yeah. where he produced, where he took like Wu-Tang samples and gave it that Gumbia. Yeah, I, I mean, I bought that shirt. That, that whole project was fire. So shout outs to him. Um, great job. Mickey? I take you guys' word for it. All right. <laughs> oh, I also mentioned, if you can think of anybody, um, feel free to shout them out. Um, we should have threw out bootleggers as well because a lot of guys kill the bootleg game. Yeah. Um, oh, I, yeah. I, B Breaker, That's CRG, what I was pick, yeah. Mark Anthony, like those yeah. guys are just, and, and I, I know there's more, but off the top, it was, that's, you know. Yeah, there's a bunch besides the guys you mentioned. I know from the radio show, like Smash Out in Arizona, this is Kid oh, Revis yeah. out in Boston. Uh, there's a couple Revis, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He yeah. makes some good stuff. I definitely uh, use like a few of Squared. Um, yep. There's a couple on the house side, like this guy, Hype Les. Uh, a couple of them that just continually just roll out really dope bootlegs and stuff. Usable. Like Usable, Usable bootlegs, bootlegs. yes. Jay yeah. Medina, too, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, okay, um, best city to spin in, uh, Rel? Uh, I put San Diego and New York for me this year. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah. That's dope. Um, Sprite? I'm... Gonna go with Vegas after my show with Made Monster. The energy was yeah. through the roof, so it's like I gotta keep saying Vegas. <laughs> All right, I'm pretty sure I'm going with Boston for a second year in a row. Um, it's a third year, in a third row, year, yeah. row? <laughs> probably. probably. <laughs> That's, yeah, it's one of those. Uh, Mickey, San Diego, mm-hmm. right on. It's All a right, dope city. I love San Diego. man, San Diego. Yeah, yeah. San Diego's it's great. fun. Yeah. Um, all right, most ratchet slash ignorant song, Rel. You see, I was, I was, I was going, I was going it, but I was like. If I, when I was thinking about it, I was like, all right, what a song that I played that got just, just the most reaction out of it? And it's kind of, 
And I said, Baby King, Family Ties, man. Mm. For me, it was just that track is. We're going to be hearing that song a lot. Well, for, yeah. for a on while, this man. podcast yeah. and, and yeah. when yeah. you go for through a while life. now. And I'm just like, man, when I see it, and I'm just like, yeah, that's the one right now. Yeah. Sprite? <laughs> I've got Throat Baby. Yeah. So yeah, that was yeah. The original actually was in 2020, but the remix, but it the, takes the yeah. baby in mm-hmm. City Girls was 2021. So throw baby, throw baby, fantastic. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go with Nardo Smoke. Who wants smoke? Have you heard it? I, oh, dude, what? Have I heard it? You know why I didn't think that one? It's too it? new. It's too new. Like, oh, man, even, we, I feel like even people in LA are still catching that wave right now. You know what I'm but, saying? Yo, but it's right. definitely you, going to it's definitely going right. to be one of them but tracks. When I play it and when I hear it, I'm like, oh man, this is like, this is going to be one. Like you is, knew, you like you know. As soon as you, as soon as I heard it, the first time I heard it, I was like, oh yeah, oh, this shit. is going to be a problem. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah DJ I mean? Nardo Smoke. Who wants smoke? Please download it. Okay. Mickey, I'm gonna get that one. Mm, yeah, that's one yeah. of those. <laughs> I don't know because it's like ignorant part. I mean, I feel like Throat Baby is such a great option. But yeah. to, to, it's just, it says it in the title, I mean, it's, yeah. it's right there. I don't even need to listen to it. <laughs> right, right. It's hard Throat to even baby. say it without <laughs> singing it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Storculator this year still? Yeah, that Storculator came out this was year. this year. Yep. That's pretty, yep. I don't yeah. know. It's like, to me, it's like That's ratchet. that corny yeah, ratchet. That ratchet. Up-tempo ratchet. Up-tempo ratchet? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was onto yeah. something. There you go. Throw it in the mix. All right. Um. Most random requests or shout out from a spender, bro. Their own fucking track. Oh, oh man. man. Their oh, own yeah. track. Yeah. Moving on. When they be like, <laughs> can you play my shit? Um, Sprite. The only thing I was able to think of is I was when I was playing in Park City, uh, there was like a wedding party there, and they wanted to hear Latour, People Are Still Having Sex, which okay. uh, you've got to be pretty old to wow. remember that, that track. Yeah. <laughs> People are still having sex. People are still listening to that. Yeah. All right. Um, I think the only request I got was that Joel Santana request at the end, the very end of the night in AC. So, and that was pretty fucking random. Um, Mickey, I got some girl that came up and she's like, "Can you play Justin Bieber and Tupac?" Oh, like the collaboration, to, like a collab, <laughs> the like <mashup>? a feature, <laughs> or I didn't know where the mashup was. I didn't have it in my. I didn't have my Lime thing. Water. Actually, I'll take that back. Blue Bucks clan in um nah, you know, this is LA baby you know that's, nah, that's not no, a random no, 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 that's no, not a random scene you ain't no. been outside long enough I have it that's <laughs> let me let me let me speak for my no. protected in home <laughs> conversation it's not maybe it's not random but it, what's the name of the song what's the artist's name of the song the artist is called Blue Bucks clan right you don't know and then what what song no, are I you never, talking about no I remember huh? you talked what about it but yeah. they were creeping or. Which, oh, whatever. I played like, creeping. I didn't even know I had that shit. Oh no! But it's because yeah. Bino is on there, yeah. and um, who else? It's that whole little click. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was yeah. an interesting, threatening night. Most interesting song. Um. All right. Um. Big. Wait. Where am I? Oh, old school two thousands. Um. Song that got the best reaction, bro. Uh. So for me, it's believe it or not. So earlier in the year, when you know when we were outside, early in the year, um, it, believe it or not, it was Keisha Cole's "Change My Mind." Ooh. I don't know if you guys are, like remember that song, yeah. but I was. It was one of those songs where I was going through shit, and I knew we 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 talked about this a lot, like how older tracks are just going to be the mm-hmm. shit right yeah. now. Yeah, we, yeah. we did. Yeah, and I we, was like, we, oh, we you know, I want to just see we can how far deep we can get in the batch. Yeah. I was like, man, this song was amazing. See, this would have been a great part. dialogue recap. Exactly, for you. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, yo, the times that I played it, and I play it often now. Um, when I get to get in that bag, or I get, at least get to get deep into that bag, I played it often. And the reaction that I got from oh, the women, weekend. huh? The weekend often. Oh, no, oh, you're saying you play it often. When I play it, when I get, when I get to play, when I get to play it often, um, and I was playing it more so, like I said, the the first half of the year, at least the first quarter, nice. second quarter of the year, I got like a crazy reaction. Like women would come over to me, being like, "Oh my god, like we never heard this song in the club before." Yeah. So, um, and then the second half of the year, believe American Boy. American yeah. Boy has been going. Wow. I'm, I, I think it's just the Kanye thing. Next year, we're going to have to bump this to 2010's track. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's moving up. It's, it's moving, moving up. up. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And I, that's why I said, I was like, well, I mean, but American Boy came out in 2008. So I was just like, ah, yeah. that's still, you know what I mean? 13 years ago. Oh, yeah, exactly. Crazy. Sit on that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's crazy. And it's still just, I mean, screaming. I have videos of them screaming. Yeah. 
the words to this yeah. shit. And I'm just like, so those are the two tracks that I put. Damn, see, that's what I'm talking about. I love hearing that because I'm going to think, oh, let me go back and add yeah. those. Like, yeah. I, I need to use it. You also mentioned a Mary J song pods ago that had plays going I'm going down. You oh, because you, oh. I use it as a, I use it to, to kind of like, like, you know what I mean? Throw a curveball at them and they go, yeah. what the fuck? Yeah. And then I go into like way too sexy or some shit like yeah, that. Yeah. Have them yeah. screaming, oh, I'm going. And then scream yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then setup. boom. It's a yeah, setup. it's a setup pretty much. Yeah, gotcha. Um, all right. Hell yeah. I love that. Um, Sprite. As far as throwbacks, I mean, most of the biggest reactions are still from the staples. All your like, you know, Rough Riders anthem, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But I know you've been doing the same thing. At the end of the night, I've been doing kind of the, the chiller throwback hip hop stuff. Like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Bedrock, Mrs. Officer, mm-hmm. um, Kiss Me Through the Phone, oh, yeah. Shoddy yeah. is the yeah. shit, you know, like all those. That shit working in prime time right now. It yeah. is. Exactly. It is. So yeah. for me, those have been like, you know, besides all the staple, you know, West Coast, Dre Day, that, that stuff always is the biggest reactions. But yeah. that kind of end night throwback. Yep. If so. a DJ, if you, if you hear a DJ play any old songs like middle of the night, prime time, they're getting cocky with it. They're, su- they're super feeling themselves. Yeah, I'm definitely more, more one of the biggest. More, yeah. more power to it. More power to it. But just know they're super feeling themselves yeah. Yeah. and they're fucking with you. Um, okay, um, I'm rolling with Mariah Carey. We belong together. That's your um, shit. That's my shit. That's your Every shit. time I capture that on video, it trust me, it's going yeah. up. Hey, I, I want to be known as I that guy. I fantasy for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Titanium. Titanium oh, by David yeah. Guetta. Yo, yeah. ti- yeah. yo, Titanium went from crazy top, for me in New York. One. Doom, doom, doom. Like, yeah, Titanium crazy. went crazy for me crazy. in New York. Yeah. Uh, Mickey. I'm going to return to the Mac. I don't mm. run in, but you know, think of Fino when you say that. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Help QCs? Think of Fino. That <laughs> is his shit. He probably listens to it every day. <laughs> that's Jim Jim. Jim. I still have Jim. tracks that say Jim Marlowe. Yeah, that's for Fino. I got that from Fino. Yeah. All right. That's dope. Biggest bottle popping song. Well, um, all right. So for me, I had to pick three because again, there's sections on how the year went. Beginning of the year, it was back in blood. Like that was, Oof. that yeah. was like, you couldn't tell me nothing. Yeah. Um, you I felt like during, down. I felt like during the summer, spring, summerish, it was um, Maybach by Forty Two yep. Doug, just insane. And then obviously later in the year, it was way too sexy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's right. He said. Everything he said. <laughs> I'm gonna write those down. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna write. <laughs> when does this podcast come out? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> when am I back in San, San Jose? <laughs> um, no, I I I got Maybach and um, so Family like, Ties. What the fuck is that? And Rel, you actually told me about Maybach because I did a um, a check on what am I missing, and I heard Dre play it at OC at Heat. Shit went, went crazy. crazy. I played it and went crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought about playing it in Boston, but I was like, I don't know. That, I mean, am I really feeling myself right now? <laughs> but I didn't. Um, but no, but fam- I did it. <laughs> but no, I didn't. Oh, you did it. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, but I did it. Uh, I think I could have got away with it. Um, but Family Ties, another pl- table is going crazy to yeah. Family Ties. Uh, Mickey. Uh, blue, blue box. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, you know, I'll, I'll switch it up. Listen, Pepas. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that, uh, Latino, basically Latino, Latino. Popular, yeah. It's just Buchanan's instead of Hennessy. It's all good. Okay, yeah. 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 <laughs> there you go. Yep, yep. Respect. Um, biggest song of the year, real. For me, that was Peppers. Yeah, there you go. Okay, that, that right. was just like. We doing the producer of the year or the biggest song? Of the biggest year? song, biggest of, song the year. of the year. Yeah, yeah. I guess I. I mean, from from my step, it'd probably be Peppers would probably be the biggest. Okay. Yeah. Same. Um, I did Peppers and do it to it. Mm. Actually, crazy. it's funny. I had do it to it for um. For like a biggest song that wasn't no 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 <laughs> yeah, I had definitely. a craze for producer of the year uh, because even though I know Peppa still is probably the biggest and most requested of those um, on the house side of things after that a craze do it to a track came out now everybody is trying to mimic that sound mm-hmm. I've heard I've yeah. so many mm-hmm. just direct where they're just trying to find that old sample that bouncy sample the same kind of bass and beat yeah. so that's why I had him for producer of the year because it's yeah so many clones now. Um, Okay, uh, for yeah, Meads, due to Peppa's, um, Mickey. Biggest song of the year. Peppa's. Peppa's. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, Across the board. Listen. Song to get the best reaction that wasn't Peppa's. Um, for me, it was, yeah, was do it. Pe- it was do it to it. <laughs> the remix of Peppa's. <laughs> yeah, basically, right? Still Peppa's. Yo, I, I was scrolling through the grand today, and there's a, there's a biblical, like, religious version of Peppa's. Oh, oh hell no. In Spanish? <laughs> oh, Dog. hell no. I I I wish I could find it. 
I think oh, I might have saved it because I was trying to send it to all the Latin DJ City guys. Because <laughs> it's so funny because, like, you know, because the, the original version is, like, very hardcore. Yeah. If you really think about it. Yeah. Like, lyrically. and you Probably so, won't hear it at a stadium because of its lyrics. Yo, that thing was so... If I find it, I'll find it. I'll let you know. Okay. Um... What would you say? What was your song? Um, for me, it was so song to get the best reaction that wasn't Peppers. Yeah, it was Do It To It or Believe It or Not, Diplo's um, On My Mind. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that that's went crazy. One. One. Like, yeah, it was a big one. one. Yeah. That one had legs. Yeah, it did. And then, to you, again, which probably we're saying, like, some people were trying to recreate yeah. that same sound. It was, it was so just many. that similar um, that I mean, sound. I'm not saying it started with him, but the popular <clears throat> style started with him. Yep. Started yeah. Started with On My Mind. Yeah. Side mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, Sprite. A lot of the same tracks, but one that I just from the last couple of weeks of playing that I haven't played in a while uh, was is Mo Bamba. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, the reason the reason why is I, for, it came out in 2018. It was massive, and then for a while I felt like as I was playing it too long, it was like fighting the crowd. And then I made like a short edit of it, yeah. and then I stopped playing it, brought the short edit back, and then I kept feeling like, well, damn, now they're getting mad because I'm not playing more of more it. of it. Yep. And now I'm playing the damn long edit again, and I just turn the volume off and let's do the whole song. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, um, I've been seeing that more, and I'm just like, maybe I need to bring that back into my crate. <laughs> it's it's literally the last like three or four believe, gigs yeah. I've had probably been the biggest song of the night. Uh, yeah, I believe it. The whole damn thing you could play. Yeah, turn it off. I'll do the song. <laughs> um, yeah. So uh, best song to get the best reaction that wasn't Peppa's for me was Family Ties. Again, these people are dance are yeah. jumping up and down like it's an EDM track, and and I you don't see that with every big song that's not EDM. Yeah. So. Agreed. Uh, Mickey? Mm. Oh, no, man. Tongue. I don't have not peppers. I know. It's way, I Blue blocks. Blue blocks. Yeah, creeping. <laughs> yeah, creeping. <laughs> All right. Huge reaction. In Oxnard. Loved oh, it. Man. Ontario. Ontario, sorry. Oxnard. The other way. Other way. The other O. All right. Um, most surprising song of the year, Rel. Bro, that uh, Capella Great Gray song. Um the uh Gallius or whatever it's called. Not hip. It's the it's the, it's the, it's the one they, they um they I'm sampled too. They they they, they sampled um um back that ass up. Doom, doom. Uh, I don't. It sounds uh, like a um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, you don't understand that song goes Fuck, off. On. And I was like, this song is trash. Wow. But it goes crazy. And I'm like, you oh. have to be kidding me. But that was the most surprising song for me. Because okay. I was like, all right. Yeah, hell yeah. I guess I'll run it. And they made a remix with it and everything. Chris Brown's on it. So. Wow. Okay. And, uh, yeah, that's mind-boggling. All right, Sprite. For most surprising, I put like all these, um, all the new artists that are bringing back like the classic house. So like In the Ghetto, Twerkulator. Mm-hmm. And they're taking all these new artists and they're flipping all these like straight up classic house tracks. Like yeah. That. So when I heard those, I was like, no way. It's the... I'm from Chicago. Percolator was like the biggest song yeah. for 20 years. Right. It's yeah, so, still big. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. Um, again, Family Ties. And, and I'm also going to throw in Stun of Man, Big Steppin. Stun of Man 02, Big Steppin. Mm. Big reaction. Like, like reaction like, like, how do you know that type of reaction? Like, how do you know that song? Mm. Um, yeah. Mickey? Well, where are we at? Most, <laughs> most surprising <laughs> song of the year. Nothing. Blue box. Mm, way too sexy. Way too sexy. <laughs> that was surprising for you. No, surprising that it was a hit. I guess. Like I don't know. It felt. It felt too forced. It was Drake it felt too it was on the, Drake on the, the nail. future. You knew it was it gonna be a hit. I'm the... like that was obvious. I'm so. You know what's surprising to me about that song what? is that they let Young Thug's verse ride. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where does that happen? <laughs> I was like, <forget> that. <laughs> um. All right. Um. I threw this one out there as well. A common theme. For you guys in your sets, something that like you probably didn't pick up on until later. Um, for me, it was um, I found myself playing more originals than remixes, and, and I was the complete opposite. I'm playing more re- remixes right. than I am originals. Interesting, yeah. Uh, Sprite, very similar. It was just more of the originals and throwbacks, but not even just throwbacks in the sense of like the DMXs and stuff like that. Playing like you know, um, uh, what did I write here? So like, like. Uh, for President by Dioro or Felly Fell's Boomerang or, you know, wow. Wow. Ass Hypnotized by TJR <laughs> wow. or uh, Swing, the Joe Fletcher remix of Savage. Just like yeah. all these like throwback up-tempo tracks. Like Boomerang kills it, especially if you're around here. Yeah. It murders it. Yeah. Wow. Put your hands in it. Need it. They all know it. Yeah. 
fuck, man, I feel like I, I got to share this because it's funny. Um, <laughs> um, Mike from Heat, uh-huh. owner. Yeah. So last 20 minutes, he was behind the decks and it was just hit after hit of sing-along shit. Like anybody could have done what I did. It was nothing crazy about it or about my selection. But he's back there in like the last four songs. Um, he said, play... Um, play uh dmx's rough rider anthem mm. i can't remember the last time i played this song i i know it works again it's like i've talked about some yeah, of the pod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there's certain songs i know it'll work but come on let's dig a little deeper yeah but i was like all right i laughed I, and i played it, and of course it went off like all right i, I was that's what i was expecting I, mm-hmm. I didn't think and then he was just like all right throw in the original rattle throw in the original swedish house mafia one. Oh wow and party rock anthem and we're good <laughs> and, and i'm just like again at this point it's the last three songs i don't give a shit yeah, and true. and if you're still there you're clearly a music lover and you just want to rage yeah so i'm gonna give you everything you know there's a, a, a hundred different remixes and bootlegs of rattle yeah and you don't hear one anymore so i thought that was kind of refreshing but but yeah playing it from the top the original and it should just it went off in a funny way um, most surprising song? Well, no, common thing, Mickey. Anything that out of the different from your two DJ sets this year? Two to three. <laughs> two to three. <laughs> no, just, you, you you just realized that there's been a changeover in staff at Chingon. That's for damn sure. <laughs> that, that is that is a fact. <laughs> there's there's no, nobody ordinary. Here. Yeah, there's I nobody. came up. I'm like, I'm like, who do I speak to? <laughs> I'm thinking to myself, and I'm like, oh, I'm sure I'll know somebody. Not a soul inside. <laughs> They're just like, what are you here for? I'm here for the tacos, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> for that um, big-ass margarita with the ice cream in it. I didn't have that. That sounds terrible. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Um, all right, Rel, newcomer of the year. Um, For me, it was Blast. Believe it or not, Blast is making a lot of noise. Or I wrote, you know, most of the female artists. Um, Bia, Sweetie. Bia, that's Bia's, a good one. Bia, that whole lot of money. Crazy. It was crazy. the second song I played in Boston. Crazy. She's from Boston. Right? It, yeah. It's just fun. Crazy. Right? And then, you know, the the new joint she got out now. Like, I've, I've, listened, I've listened to her album. It was only like a, excuse me, it's an EP, so it's only five songs. Like Cover it. Girl on Skate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Amazing. And now she's got like two more new tracks out right now that I think are really going to take off. Um, so yeah, her and Sweetie, I think, were probably the best in my in my opinion. Okay. Sprite? Um, I actually had the, with the, the guy with the Chosen track, was it? Blast. Yeah, yep. yeah. Yep. I had that. And then uh, on the house side of things, um, I had Hawk and Dom Dalla. They do very much that mm. like mm. kind of chuggy tech house, yeah. but with a familiar, um, like the Hawk dude right now is making all uh, very f- polished Fisher sounding stuff, like remixes of like, you know, glamorous and feel good ink and always popular songs. Yeah. But that's usually how it starts. I remember like with Skrillex and Deadmauts, they would do all these like personal remixes. And then a year later, Blew up. Yeah. So and he's definitely on that track because I, I play his stuff all the time. And then Dom Dalla, just love his shit. Yeah, um, I got Blast too. Yeah. Yeah. Me Mickey. too. All right. That's <laughs> no, I, that actually, it's a sweep. Because <laughs> I talked to Rel about this and I, I'm, I think I was just like, man, this guy's performing everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. 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 Like there is not uh, a lounge, there. club, yeah. He's everywhere. Chipotle. Uh, are you <laughs> seeing him around the country performing everywhere? Because I'm wondering nah, it's if more it's local. more of a regional. No, nah, it, it might be a regional thing, but at the end of the day, like, for you to be willing to work with people and want to be out there, like I think that. But his music is getting out there, at look, least to the East Coast. I know. Look, if if you're not from California, Nevada, Salt, uh, Utah, or uh, Arizona, and um, try playing Blast, is there's replace the A with an X, because um, he is on fire out here yeah. Yeah. on the West. Okay. Um, all right. Um, biggest artist of 2021, Rel. Um, for music, I say it's between these three. It was Dua Lipa, Doja Cat, and Drake. Um, for tabloids, I put the baby. Hmm. <laughs> okay. All right. I don't think what I wrote down for the biggest artist. Uh, I'm I'm gonna just throw Drake. Yeah. A bunch of remixes. Put out the album. Say what you want about the album. It yeah. doesn't matter. He's still. Yeah. He's featured everybody's shit, yeah. yeah. And yeah. and the weekend didn't release anything this year. So anyway, was it earlier this year? No, it was last year he released, right? The weekend. Was that the the album? album? The album was that album early this year? I think it was. Shit. I feel oh, like it was see, last year. Yeah, it was last year. Oh. It was, right? I think so. Yeah, you had a quiet year. Um uh Mickey? Kanye. That's a good one. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. 
respectfully, who filled up a stadium five different times for the same album. Yeah. I don't know who kept their spins or sales or whatever mm -hmm. across the board um, consistently without a without a substantial drop off. Yeah, it was last year, 2020. And he had he fucking raised the market cap on Gap. Yeah, how many <laughs> crazy millions or billions yeah. possibly like the guy is just like i think that's what um i mean not not to like go backtrack too much but like you know he's pushing 40 yeah now something no, like that no he's old he's, no, older. he's older than 40 he's like for, uh, 44 yeah yeah like i think that. that's what it is right and drake's what 35 36 yeah something like 34? 36 yeah 35 or 36 35 like yeah. yeah so like if you are, he's LeBron. Like yeah. you're comparing his greatness to the other great, and you're still eight, nine years older. Yeah. Like you're still relevant. Yeah. You're still yeah. filling up the stadium. Yeah. Like more power to him. Um, did you find your uh, artist of the year? No, I think it was. I think I still had like I, I think I had Drake and A Craze. To be honest, is what the two I believe I had. That A Craze is, is a good pick too, for yeah. sure, in that world. Um, all right, producer of the year? Hit Boy. Yeah, same. Hit Boy. Had a great year. Yeah. Um, right. I'm, I had A Craze for that as well. But Tiesto kinda, too. Yeah. Tiesto had a <laughs> yeah. year. Yeah, 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 Tiesto yeah. had a freaking Tiesto. year. I'll put Tiesto out there yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's a good call. <laughs> I would like to change my answer to Tiesto. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, most entertaining artist of the year, real. Soldier Boy. Yes. It's funny, I was going to say that. Was, <laughs> I was say, in what respect? I mean, this is like entertaining. <laughs> entertaining Soulja yeah, Boy. Exactly. Yeah. That's what it said. So I was like, what, was it in based on respect? like concerts? Soulja. Was it based on drama yeah. and like that? Or was, and, 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 how and, I looked at it, and, yeah. Any and all. Oh, I mean, I yeah. had concerts in mind, but yeah, hell yeah, that works too. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you know, the reason why I didn't think concerts is because like it there wasn't, wasn't too many. Yeah, there wasn't too You're many. Right. That what happened. And when we do, when we did get to the point, it was just like you know everything that went on with the Travis thing, and I was just yeah. like, ah, I didn't even think about it. So I was like entertaining, just that was just yeah. out there and just yeah. being nuts. So. Um, I went with Meg and Fisher. If you guys mm. watch Fisher's Instagram, yeah, yeah, he's yeah. fucking hilarious. You can't take him serious. His faces are stupid. Like he's just a funny looking guy, and he owns it. Yeah. Um, he's, he's Australian. He's like your stereotypical Australian dude. Like everything he does is just hilarious. Uh, Mickey, Kanye, Kanye. Okay. Um, yeah. What artist will have a great 2022? Man, I think we, uh, oh boy, you mentioned earlier, Nordo Wick, yeah. who, stayed, who did uh, Who Won't Smoke. Yeah. I listened to his album. Yeah. And he's only 19 years old. I said, this man's got a lot of potential. This kid's got a lot of potential. Yeah. I think, you know what I mean? He's, if, because if you look at tracks like Maybach, you look at tracks like Back in Blood, yeah. that really were, as far as the club, bottle pop, special bottle popping um, venues, like this kid's gonna, he, He's going to probably be similar to Blast. He's going to be doing walkthroughs for every venue across the country. You know what I'm saying, stuff like that. I think he's going to have a huge uh, 2022. Yeah. If he if he mark if he's branded and marketed the right way, mm -hmm. I think he's he's going to have a big year. Where's he from? That is a good question, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> and I you know you know why I say that because I usually when I when I find a new artist that I kind of like, I usually look that up. I hope he's not from New York because these New York I don't think he's from New York. I don't like think he's from New York. Every I want to say he's from Chicago. Joe Budden made a really good point on why New York rappers aren't blowing up like like other regions. And it oh, and he's he, from Jacksonville. It, oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. His point was um, not only so much that artists can are better at collabing, like in Atlanta, for example, than New York, but it's gun laws. Yeah. So your gun laws are crazier and tighter in New York, so you don't have the freedom to kind of like shoot someone back to to protect yourself and and just roll peacefully, right? But in Atlanta, it's re more relaxed, I guess, yeah, because it's open gun law. Yeah, because it's, it's open an accessory. Gun. Yeah, yeah. So it's like it's a little more casual. Everyone feels protected. You can connect with each other. But in New York, you you can't. So you stay away from each other, and you like then you got to deal with the cops busting you. Mm -hmm. it, it was an interesting breakdown. Mm -hmm. Um, Sprite. 
Who will have a great 2022? I'm going to say the Island Boys. <laughs> no, no, but um, I think uh, I'm, I'm a lot on the house side of things like um, Faruko, Shouse, A Craze, as long as they can follow those big hits up. But like in the house world, those were all massive. But if they can follow up all those, the singles they had this year, which I think Faruko definitely will because he was around for a lot longer before Peppas. I have a lot of songs yes. that I've been playing yes. for a while. Yes. But like Shouse kind of. At least for me, came out of nowhere. Yep, and uh, everybody, yeah, yeah no one exactly. saw that and then, I mean, Nate Craze has been around for a little bit, but I mean, if they could follow him up, I think they'll have huge. Shouts should be given its respect in yeah. Song of the Year as well. Love tonight. Yeah, we yeah. just got it, it. Just it the steam ran out real quick on that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like when we opened up, everyone played it. Everyone's back to clubbing, and then everyone was over it real quick. Yeah. yeah. Um, but okay, um, I'm gonna go with Kendrick because we haven't heard from him in a long time. Um, uh, I think Roddy Rich is going to hit us with something. His album's coming out this week, right? Roddy? Mm-hmm. Yeah. This week or next week? One of these. Yeah, it's coming out. It's going to come out before the end of the I don't year. know, man. Uh, you, you said... Uh, Kendrick. Kendrick. Because it's Kendrick's last album as, as TDE. Yeah. I, th- I don't know. You think he's just going to mail it in on I the think, next Yeah, album? I think he's just going to kind of like, here you guys go, so, so, just so I can get mm-hmm. out of his contract. I hope not. Break I, hope, I hope not either. But I think he just might be like... But again, I don't say that because there's no bad blood between him and like... um. TD and TD Top Dog and Top Dog and all those guys. Yeah. On. Um, and if he's innocent, Tory Lane's gonna come out on fire. You just like that innocent. last album that he put out. Let me all tell you guys something. Shit. Oh my god, Left yeah. at Prom. Yeah. Oh my is god, is an '80s album by Tory Lane's, and it is Fuego, <laughs> Lady of Namek. You can't tell me other is the is the best song out right now. By Tory Lanez, Lady of Namek. All right, no, you see, bro, you can't tell me anything else. <laughs> Listen, I see I'm you're biased. trying. No, I'm biased because I, I'm not a fan of that 80s sound. It's I know the same, you're not. same yeah. reason I had the, the same yeah, issue yeah. that I had with the Weekend album, right? I'm just, yeah. I'm not a fan of Blinding it. So that's why, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's why I was like, eh, you know what I mean? So, but I'm not going to say that it's not great. I'm, again, I had to play tracks off that Weekend album in my yeah. set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I was like, yeah. I already know this shit, Tory Lanez tapped into an album that no, at least no R&B hip hop artist for the most part, you know, we don't consider the weekend in those in that category. He's more of a pop artist. So sure. I think he probably tapped into something that they're gonna be like, oh, he's 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 trying to cross the bridge now. He's gonna get that new demographic. Yeah. So look, uh, look, um, I played Lady of Namek at Heat at the end of the night. It was like the sixth to last song or something, which is probably why Mike asked me to play Rough. <laughs> <What's this shit? laughs> Thinking back. <laughs> but I, th- I thought we were done so you know I'm just like play this and I played it like the second to last song in Boston I didn't care what the reaction was going to be nobody reacted to it I said I'm playing this for me I let them know this is for me and whoever else knows this song and baby and they were just like what the fuck is this shit <laughs> no 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 just, just listen alright this is for me I've been giving you everything you want for the rest for the whole night this one's for me. Let that's me a, that's what I was gonna say. We should put a song on there. What's a song that you guys in your sets played specifically just for yourself, regardless if you knew one. if the crowd was gonna respond to Add it this or not? For the 2022 rap. Yeah. yeah. What song um, do you guys just play for yourself and you know, like man? Used I love to do this shit. shooting stars. All the time. Oh, oh yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> that's for all of us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the club doesn't know. Yeah, it's yeah. for them too. And then the um the the um mashup with. Bad and bougie on top yeah. of it. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, That's the best mashup out. <laughs> Song for you. All right. All right. And uh, Mickey, who um, artists who have a great year? Baby King. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he's got his trajectory is very uh, upflow. So absolutely, I think he's set up to to do some 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 damage. Yeah. Uh, at a large level. Yep. Or Travis Scott, because there's only way up from now. Uh, it's pretty it's, it's, by the dip yeah, yeah. by the dip <laughs> <laughs> it don't get lower than this it's yeah. down right. it's gonna be better than this year yeah, you're right straight down right. <laughs> straight up <laughs> straight back up <laughs> ring it back up stocks only go up yeah. um, oh man he's in the oh, your peloton uh, yeah <laughs> you yeah <laughs> shout out to Mr. Biggs <laughs> um, alright last one who else will look uh, who else to look out for in 2022 this was hard for me, pause. Um, I don't, I, We're not in New York. It's okay. It was, I don't know. You know, believe it or not, I, I, I thought Young Blue. Like, I was like, Young Blue is going to... Because he came out with his first joint that hit the 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 scene with Drake. 
Mm-hmm. Right? And then he came out with the joint with Chris Brown. Now, ba- baddest. Baddest. Y'all. Hold on. Let me stop you there. Go ahead. If you don't play Baddest, if you don't draw Baddest in your set, you are missing out on a fun reaction. And this is what I'm saying. And even if and even if you just do 16 bars, just just let's just get Chris Brown's joint. Get the Chris Brown's voice, right? Because it's 16 bars of him mm-hmm. singing and and but let me tell you that the way the girls react to Baddest is different. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. He re- and then they look at you like, how do you know that? He was like, he's like the I, I envisioned him like the new age, like Fetty Wap. Like what Fetty Wap couldn't mm-hmm. accomplish at his time for whatever reasons, whether it was right. legal purposes or whatever, I feel like Young Blue is gonna be that. And if okay. you if he can get if he can get a track or two, I don't, I don't know what his next project is gonna sound like. I think he's gonna be someone that you gotta keep your eye on, on at least as far as what we're playing inside the club. That's a great call. Um, Sprite. I got the same people, the Hawk, Dom Dalla, the GOV 2021. Yeah. Just different house guys I'm watching. Mm. Um, I'm going to go with Sack Noel because we were just talking earlier and he was like, he um, said he got a crazy response from his A Craze Do It To A remix and he put out a little video. Um, and he's like, man, moving forward, like originals are cool. It's great. But I feel like I need to enter the remix world and because a lot of DJs will play more of my remixes than my originals. Yeah, yeah. So, and and he already showed me one remix that he's working on. It's it's a fun sing-along. And I'm just like, if you do this mm-hmm. for the year, like, you're going to go crazy in the DJ world. And and I'm sure it can get to the point of a craze where someone just re-sings it. And, yeah. And they, you know, the label gets to publish or the publishers get the publishing and you get, you know, whatever, any, everything else. Um, Him and Martin Holger. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, a house producer. He yeah. he had a I forgot the name. He had a big track this year. It may have even been last year and bled into this year. But um, yeah, he's he's up in like the charts uh, in the house world. Yeah, I wanted um, to put Sack on my um, producer of the year because he, he. Oh yeah. He, yeah, I wanted to put him on there. He was on that list. Yeah, right. Dokeme. Yeah. Well, Dokeme was a couple years ago. But yeah, no, he's always got some shit yeah. coming out. He's got some joints. Oh, he he did the I feel good. Mm-hmm. And that's an old. That's one of his old songs that Pitbull just like yeah I want to. Do something with that. Uh, Mickey. Mm. Who to look out for in 2022? Blue Bluffs clan. Yep. <laughs> they got a mixtape coming out. They're going to be everywhere. <laughs> they got Chris be Brown everywhere. on a joint. Yeah, you're not, you're not hearing them outside of Inglewood and, and the IE. <laughs> <laughs> in Ontario. <laughs> yeah, I ain't outside. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still yeah. inside. Who's coming inside? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah, no. All right. Well, shoot. If there is not anything else to add, Sprite. Thank you for being here for your end. Yeah, wrap-ups. always, man. I always love coming to do this, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, you're like our third guest of the year. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've had Disco Drew. Yep. And it might be our second guest of the year. We don't really, think we had really. anybody else, right? I nope. can't think. Nobody of really got else. invited up here. Yeah. And if we do forget one person, we're gonna look like some real big assholes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, right, man. Come on, man. Yeah, whatever. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, shout out to and, wh- and whoever's got their opinions out there. You know what I mean? Like, hit us up. Let us know. Uh, you know what's your thoughts? If you have a different selection or you know anything we said was out of whack, yeah, please. Our choices were whack. Let us know. Talk Let to us know us. what worked in your city, just because yeah. you know yeah. we're saying what worked for us in our respective um, exactly sets. You know, mm-hmm. maybe you had something different, and then hopefully it's something I haven't heard, and we can or I can go download it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, cool. We are out of here. Merry Christmas. Happy New, New Year. Year's. Uh, we love you guys. Thank you once again we'll for listening to us all year. 2022. And we'll see you in 2022. I don't know when our next um, pod recording is going to be, but we'll see you. We'll see ya.